Welcome back to Florida Sportsman, Project Dreamboat. Join us as Dale at TRB Customs tries his hand at full wood creation on the Hydra Step Project. Yeah, TRB Customs, we're busy with our Hydra Step Project, which is a full faux wood boat with a retro mod look on the motor and the boat hull. I'm drawing inspiration from the old classic boats of the 20s and 30s, the, the crisscraft barrel backs, the old bootleggers, you know, the old racing boats. Uh, they were these beautiful mahogany boats. Uh, I want to emulate that look, and that's what I'm going for on this Hydra Step project. We've just got the boat back from the guy who's put the base coat down. I now have to do the faux process. I've decided to just do one hatch to start off with in case I screw it up. But um, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. And for added pressure, I'm going to be filmed doing it for the first time. I kind of figured that an important part of getting the, the wood to look realistic is the preparation of the base coat before I start laying down the faux process. I needed to sand the panel in individual planks almost, in, in individual pieces of wood. So um, I tape the panel off. I then um, take a rough scourer and I scour lines in, in the direction that wood would actually run. We've prepped it. Um, I think I'm gonna now get in and start taping it out and mix some colors and let's see where we get to. It's something new that I've never done before and let's just give it a go and see where we go with this. The first thing I did was the border, but it had to be made out of individual sections because that's how a real wooden panel would be made. I used a high quality sort of edging tape so that I wouldn't get any bleed underneath the tape because I remember I said I want those really crisp lines of where, where the wood joins. And then I started the faux process. Um, I've done a lot of research and I decided to use a high quality airbrush paint. I started mixing blacks and reds to give you that sort of dark, rich mahogany color. I then added some candy reds to it to give it the transparency that it needs. It came down to time that you couldn't spend any more time mixing paint. You couldn't spend any more time looking at what needs to be done. It came down to dipping that cloth and laying down some paint. And as I started doing it, I realized that the secret to making it look like real wood was inconsistency because real wood doesn't look the same. I think that's kind of where we got to quickly realize that that's how we made the wood look realistic. Going back and using darker colors and lightly running that brush to give that sort of dark grain look to the wood. Your grain runs like this and as you come along the radius, your grain pattern changes to your end grain. Your end grain is where you see the concentric rings in a tree. And I just felt that to get this right would add that realistic look to, to the finished product. And take a look at that, that end panel. I'm not sure how much you can see on camera, but it's very much starting to look like a piece of wood. Once I had this first little piece of wood done, kind of my nerves settled because there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress building up to this. This is a huge commitment to, to say, wow, I'm gonna fill a whole frigging boat. I stepped back and I was like, okay, I've got this. So I unmasked it and got ready to do the other three sides and they became easier and I kind of started having a good feeling about that this, this project was going to work out. 
Welcome back to Florida Sportsman, Project Dreamboat. Join us as Dale at TRB Customs aims to complete his first faux wood panel with realistic perfection on the HydraStep project. One of the things that I wanted to do on this boat was I wanted to have caulking lines. If you look at sort of the older boats, um, they would have these beautiful mahogany or teak strips laid out and then they'd use, put a caulking line in the middle. And I feel I'm, I was rather particular on it when I did this first one. And I took my time, I, I measured it out properly and accurately. I then masked it off and I went with an airbrush to do the black section because I wanted it to be as smooth as possible. Um, I felt that if I went in here with a brush or a cloth technique or whatever, I just wasn't going to get that really nice smooth look that you get from actual caulking that's put down and then sanded over. Another part of getting the caulking done and getting it precise and accurate is the amount of taping and masking that you need to do. I made sure that everything was individually done to make sure it was super accurate. And it's probably the most time consuming part of this project is all the, the masking that, that I'm going to be doing. Uh, it, it's really daunting to think that I have a whole boat to do and well, how much masking tape am I gonna use doing a whole planked boat? Um, also, doing the planking, it can't all be the same. It's not a carbon copy of each one. It will make it look fake. The whole idea was that it, it doesn't look cartoonish at the end of the day. It, it's got to look like real wood. The cloth is sort of what I use to lay the base down. I then come back with a variety of tools. I have a flogger that will add chatter marks or burling to the wood. The flogger is also there to add that stippled finish. Um, I use two different chip brushes which I lay into with the scissors to make them sort of a little beat up. I use them to, to put the sort of black, darkest sections in the wood, which makes it look realistic. I use a soft brush in places where I feel I need to soften the look of the wood. This is the honest truth. I literally, I was losing sleep about being able to do this, about, um, I'd made a commitment to the TV show. I had made a commitment to my wife and business partner about doing this. So when I stepped away and I felt good about it, I felt it was really necessary to bring Kristen in and share what I'd just done. Kristen's opinion is really important to me, um, mostly because she's so brutally friggin' honest. And I brought her in and yeah, she was blown away and she was really impressed that I was able to pull it off. And to tell you the truth, I think she's probably a little relieved that I was able to pull it off. But the biggest thing that I, I, I've taken away from this is that, you know, if you're prepared to put the groundwork in and you're prepared to take a chance, chances are pretty good that you're going to be able to pull it off. And get out there and try something like this. You, you want your dash panel done, give it a freaking go. If you want your transom done, give it a go. I had a lot of doubt and I put that aside and um, approached it with an open mind and it worked for me.